I certainly hope so. We haven't seen him yet. I mean, we that's how it worked with uh, Michael Harris, so. Peraza, 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 Otto, please, Tops, please. All right, you guys, welcome in, welcome in. This is the start of 2023 Top Series 1 Hobby MLB 4 Box PYT number 5 here on Mojo Break Media. We've got Brian Zabo with the Cardinals, Chevy 19 Buck with the Rays and the Nationals, Ed Sang with the Mariners, Fitting 119 with the Giants, Grand Mafatarkin with the Diamondbacks, Green Energy 621 with the Phillies, HC 19 with the Braves, Blue Jays, Guardians, Tigers, Angels, Pirates, Rangers, Royals, Mets. <gasps> We got Higgins, ACC with the Red Sox. We got J-Rem, 809 with the Dodgers. Justin Atwood with the Astros. Elias Daniel with the Yankees. Peraza, Peraza, Peraza. Ryan J. Silva with the Orioles. Tim B. Porkies. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great username. With the Brewers. Tyler, 2003-4-5 with the Chicago Cubs. Great to see you, Tyler. And Tyler Wynn, 52 with the Reds, Padres, White Sox, Marlins. A new Tyler in here. Welcome. My name's Ty. We've got a bunch of Tylers in here too. Heck yeah. We've got, and d to end it off, we got W. Conor with the Rockies, Twins, and Athletics. Heck yeah. Lots of new names. Let's go. What's up, Henry? Let's go. Fantastic Friday. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Eddie. Let's go. Let's pull some fire, fire. I got that fire. Anyone know that Sean Kingston song? Because it's been stuck in my head all dang. All dang day. All right, you guys. I also got, I know you're waiting for it. I know you're waiting for it. But pinned in the chat is Topps Chrome Sonic. Every team is $7, I believe. Should be. Yep. Yep. Cool. And in Sonic, we have six teams left, seven teams left. The White Sox, Reds, Rockies, Brewers, Athletics, Giants, and Rangers. All $7. Check it out, guys. Let's get started with top series one. I got the fire. <laughs> Gotta get them hits. Can never hate a player for playing the game. I think Mojo Breaks on base percentage is a hundred. Because we always got them hits. There we go. Fantastic Friday. We bringing them corny dad jokes today. <laughs> Great to see you guys. And as always, I'll be uh, firing up the good old on the mainstream tomorrow morning with some more Series 1. And then uh, Bowman Inception. I'm going to post some for next week. If any of you guys want to get on that Bowman Inception. Eddie, I saw you over there, and you guys see what uh, YG pulled out of Phoenix? That was crazy. Henry, did you wait? Saw that? Did you see that card? I got that fire, that fire, fire. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. And I got my first Topps Chrome Sonic Light break today. A nice little four boxer. There are seven teams left. That is pinned in the chat. They're all seven dollars. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I named it. I, I I think typically Saturday is Spectacular Saturday, but maybe Henry will make the little hybrid combo and call it Super Spectacular Saturday. It's <laughs> a good idea. Are there any other fun words that start with an S? Oh, yeah, Bailey Zappi. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I really like Bailey Zappi. Because it's fun to pull him in the afternoon, then it's uh, easy to say it's Zappi hour. See, Fantastic Friday's got all them corny dad jokes. We got more coming, guys. <laughs> I 
Yeah, P Kenny Pickett would have been nuts, if that, or Malik Willis, but Safi is one of those four that you need. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I finally got to series one. I know typically I've been breaking these as like the first break of the day, but I'm a. Uh, I like it so much. I'm trying to end a. Uh, you know, save the best for last. Not that this is last, but towards the end. Maybe Chrome Sonic Light will be the best for last. And also, I got you guys in the chat. That always excites me when I have more fellow hobbyists to chat with. So. <laughs> I know, we're fired up today. <laughs> I'm going to rewatch this clip. I wish he did a backflip. If that, if that, if he had a season like Purdy, that'd be crazy. I think we got a Seth Brown. Why is that backwards? Advanced stats, anything? Don't know. Ivan Herrera, why are you backwards? So I actually put some of them. What's going on? There's Adley. I don't know why those are all backwards. I think Zappy will have a season like Purdy one day. Just maybe not his rookie year. I don't think any other rookies. Okay, what is going on here? Randy Rose Arena. Tristan Casas. Um, actually, I was just talking about that with Brendan. I I think Mac Jones will have a stellar year this year because of his new offensive coordinator. That because Mac Jones played at the University of Alabama, and an old head coach from the NFL he used to coach the Texans, Bill O'Brien, went and coached Alabama. And Mac Jones actually taught him the offense, or that's how I remember the story. And now Bill O'Brien, there's Gunner, is the new head co or the offensive coordinator for Mac Jones. And I think that their rapport and their chemistry is really good. And I'm hoping for the success of Bailey Zappi that the Patriots trade him. And then we can see both of them. That's my hobby dream. Because, yeah, that, that Mac Jones craze was, was crazy. There's Vinny. Big Vin. Vinny Testaverde? Or no. <laughs> You're doing baseball back. You're talking Big about baseball. Big Testaverde. <laughs> and the Jets. How many home field advantages can we pull this week? Because here's number two. Ronald Acuna. <laughs> That's crazy. Congrats, Braves. Bada bing. Bada boom. <laughs> That's sick. We on fire. That's super fire. My goodness. Congrats, Braves. The Braves are actually the first team to get purchased. The Braves and the Orioles were the two first teams to get purchased in this break. Very, very nice. And that is going to go to HC19. Well, when you get half the teams in the break, stuff like that works out, so congrats. <laughs> Heck yeah. Mr. Michael Harris.
All right, guys. Daniel, I got your email. Yours is your name, but Henry, I'm trying to remember yours. And Eddie, I'm trying to, are you in this break? I want to shout you guys out when these cards come out. Alex Manoa, aces. Gavin Lux. HC19, so that was yours, congrats. So I had a feeling, but I didn't want to. There we go, Henry. That makes the most sense. That's why I thought it. But congrats, dude. If you want to take a picture of it, um, after I get through these stat, this this stack in my hand. Cool. That's sick. Brett Beatty. Congrats on your home field advantage, man. Do you have a home field advantage for every team now? Or maybe not out of this year's series one, but out of most series ones. Here you go, if you want to take a nice photo of that one. And that's just the top loader, by the way. Alright, let's continue, fam. Ooh, Hunter Brown, rookie foil. Cal Mitchell, Aaron Judge, greatest hits. Oh, heck yeah. You got Vlad? His pops was one of my favorite. There's Mr. Oswald Peraza. See if we can get his auto. Peraza, Peraza, Peraza. It worked yesterday with Michael Harris. Oh, I think we did get a rookie auto. And it's a nice one. Congratulations. Miami Marlins. Go fish. Max Meyer, stars rookie auto. Congrats, Miami. Yeah, I think he was. And so far, I pulled the Adley rookie, and out of this year's, the Adley, I pulled two Francisco Lindors for the Mets, and then Acuna. So we're adding them up. Kyle Stowers. And we do have Topps Chrome Sonic Light at the top of the hour. That is pinned in the chat. Riley Green, and there's Tristan Casas on the old school. I'll pop out that one for you. I think there's a Wander Franco home field advantage from last year. I know there's a Buster Posey one. That one I have on my radar for the PC. Hey, Christopher Moriel. And Gabe Moreno. They're always close together. Nick Prado. 
So we're gonna give away thirty well, thirty two teams. So we're gonna give thirty two teams so it's gonna be the ones that say nine or the ones that have games. So who's got the right? Those ones are right or the right thing. Alright, so maybe a free pack maybe a free pack. Maybe like a hundred free packs. I got that fire. That's super fire. All right, let's get another Mike Trout SSP. Also feel like I, know doing I know Henry would like that. There's a foil for that's gonna go to the Mets, McNeil. So what? Yeah, keep them blank, and then what we'll do is we'll we'll decide. Or do you got the Angels in this one? Yep, yep. We on that Mike Trout SSP hunt or Otani? That'd be oh, dude, if we could pull Otani. We'd get a reaction, unlike the trout. Even though I love trout, I know what to look for now. Oh, we got something coming up. Something a little different. Maybe Valar. So it's actually going to be a two part process. Is the angry label will be you just do this print like that. Cheater Downs. Wow. You guys peaked that. That's crazy. For the Orioles, rookie Adley Rushman, greatest hits. Yeah, so Amazon that, too. I oh, I totally thought this would be numbered. It will be top loaded regardless. Right. Steven Strasburg, Aces. Sweet. All right, guys. Box number two. And as always with Series 1, how would we rate that box number 1? Rate it out of 5. How is that for your team? Let me know. I'd rate that box. We got a nice home field advantage and a rookie auto. I'd give it a 5. We didn't. We got the auto. We got the... the one of the... I don't even think it's a case hit, but one of the, like, the really hard pulls. Got some Adleys. Some Harris. A, Pis a Pascatino. I just need a Peraza auto. And an Otani auto. Maybe a auto for the White Sox. And maybe some nice hits for the, the Mariners. Maybe some nice pulls for the Cardinals. Some Gorman. Maybe a Dodger. Maybe a Giant. Maybe Shea Lang Lear. That would actually be a, day, a break late, huh? Yesterday, they were calling our shot for the Shea Lang Lear auto from the Athletics. Heck yeah. Hopefully we can have the whole break be a five of five. Who are they or how are they? Who are they? Uh, we have Michael Harris. Um, he's a cup rookie from the Braves. Um, there's Gunner for the Orioles as well as Adley. There is... I think I'm Oswald Peraza for the Yanks. Jeter Downs for the Red Sox. And Tristan Casas. Um, Nolan Gorman's a big one for the Cardinals. He's supposed to be a, a big boy. Who are they? Yeah. I figured that's what you meant. Uh, yeah, Nolan Gorman's supposed to be a big boy. Um, we, I was just learning about Vinny Pascantino on stream with you guys yesterday. So hearing from Royals fans that he is one of the guys. I like him because of his cool ass name. Um, there's Aranda for the Rays. We'll see how he is. 
Oh, and Brett Beatty. How did I forget about Brett Beatty? And JJ Blade. Brett Beatty is definitely higher than JJ Blade in my opinion, but he's a, a big boy. He's for the Mets, and then JJ Blade is for the Marlins. All right, guys, box number two. Best of luck. There's Nolan Gorman. Aces. Dylan Cease. Cease and assist. We've got our City Connect for the Boston Red Sox. Rafael Devers. That will be top loaded before shipment. There's Brett Beatty. Oh, we got a gold border for the Mets, number to 2023, bro time. Oh, Gabe Moreno. He's also a, a nice one to chase. Oh, and Riley Green. I don't know how I forgot about Riley Green. He's, I'd say the three are, are Riley, Harris, and Adley. But this class is really deep. And Christopher Moriel. For the Cardinals foil. And I still want to learn more about Marcus Wilson. He plays for Seattle. O'Neill Cruz, greatest hits for the Pirates. There's Vinny. White Sox foil, Graveman. There's Gunna. <laughs> No problem, sir. There's JJ Blade. Tristan Costas. Oh, Josh Jung for the Rangers on the old school. We got a green atomic. Josh Naylor for the Guardians. Number to 499. Peraza. 
Adley. Seth Brown, Foyle for the A's. Michael Harris. Jeez, Louise. I think so. Well, all six of you guys just heard a crazy story. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, because this doesn't happen anywhere else. My solution? No more school. All right, you guys, box number two. Brett Beatty. Aces Shohei Otani. Ooh, a pew-pew gun. Let's go. Wow, our autograph snuck up on that one for the Braves, and <laughs> congrats, Henry, 
Freddy Tarnock, rookie auto, rookie for the Braves, pitcher. That is also the wrong sleeve. You on fire, Henry. I wish that was Harris. But it's an auto nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, you heard the whole story, Daniel. The bay is crazy. <laughs> I bet. I had the public high school experience, but not very similar to that. We had fights like once a. I'd say once a month, once every couple weeks. There was a nice juicy one. Yeah, I was never involved in any of them. <laughs> There's Riley Green. <laughs> exactly. I'm just trying to see tomorrow. <laughs> I, I was five foot in high school. There was no chance I was doing nothing. When I put my glasses on, I was a good hall monitor. With the best in everything. Get back to class, you hooligans. Corey Seeger foil. Daniel, would you ever would you ever do high school again? That's always a fun question I like to ask people. <laughs> I would not. Which high school was it, Daniel? Because I went to Branham, so are we in sports a lot? We played a lot of East San Jose schools. Actually, like all East San Jose schools. There's Vinny, Big Vin. Gonna gonna. Tristan Casas. Overfelt? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> you had fun in high school? Heck yeah. Well, hey man, that's one of the best thing about life is we all have different experiences in different places. Did you ever play sports in high school? Because I'm sure you guys played Brandon quite a bit because we played Overfelt a lot in uh, football and I played a ton of soccer. So we played, I was very familiar with Overfelt. You guys always gave us the best. That was for sure. Y'all soccer program is re was really, really good when I was going there. There's Ezekiel Duran for the Rangers. I know, right? Henry, would you ever go back to high school? There's Adley. Okay, Eddie, that, that's an interesting twist to it. I like this question. You know what? I, I literally had the intentions today to come prepared with like questions for everybody, and then I totally, totally forgot. But I think questions like this are fun and engaging. True. If yeah, if you could, if you could know the things that you know now, you could go back and you could get ahead, <laughs> right? Get ahead of where, or ahead of where yourself is in present day. That's how I'd look at it. But that's part of the journey. At least that's what people who have their life figured out tell me. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Oh, Daniel, you played a, uh, you played tennis, dude. That's, <laughs> I was on the tennis team uh, junior year. And uh, it was really, uh, 
really for this thing called sports PE. I really was not even on the team, <laughs> but I think I'm in the yearbook. I went to one practice a week. That was the minimum requirement. <laughs> Do you still play tennis? It would, yeah, it, see, I like your perspective on life, Eddie. It would just be a different journey. But there's also got to be things that, without knowing it in the moment, that you did right, you know? We got a foil for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. I love how Josh Naylor talks his his stuff. And the good old jibble jabble. Mr. Michael Harris. It's all about the journey. Catel Marte, Green Atomic for the Diamondbacks number to four ninety nine. You know what's interesting though is I'm I'm reading. Have you guys followed any of this Aaron Rodgers stuff coming back from when he came out of the darkness? Because he's he's all talking all very philosophical, like he's a college professor, and it's kind of how I'm reading all your guys' messages in his voice. Like the things I would do differently, the journey would be different. <laughs> you guys are saying like great stuff. I'm just there's Nolan Gorman. Just have Aaron Rodgers' philosophical voice in my head. Yeah, it's been a minute. Well, tennis is a nice sport you can play your whole life. That's cool about it. Yep, yep, that's the butterfly effect, right, Eddie? Or I, th I think that's the butterfly effect, the idea behind it. Yeah, yeah, and literally everything would change. Or, like, life how you know it now would totally change by, like, just a minute um, difference if you were to go back. Daniel, it's funny, on the lines of tennis, I've never played tennis, like I just said, or like, I went to one practice a week for, what, 12 weeks, so barely any, but I'm starting to pick up the sport of pickleball, and I know, uh, I know how a lot of people make the joke, it's not a sport, I thought that first, and I started to play, because I like the idea of tennis, I just was never very good at making the ball very accurate, but if you've ever played pickleball, man, that's a fun sport, and it's very similar to tennis, it literally is just like tennis and ping pong had a baby. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, man. So, like, Federer and... Okay, what's going on here? Dude, Serena? I know her, like, rookies go for nuts. Have any of you guys seen that movie, King Richard, with Will Smith? Uh, it's, like, the Serena Sisters movie. Or the, <laughs> the William Sisters. <laughs> Serena and Venus. That'd be sick. I wish they'd do. I wish they'd do a little better with golf. I mean, maybe with this live um, and the PGA Tour kind of splitting up. I wonder if Live will make a deal with Tops or Upper Deck, because those are the big guys, the big names. I know Tiger and Rory stayed on the PGA, but Kepka, like I feel like a Kepka rookie would be sweet. I know Morikawa was pretty highly chased out of um, Metal Champions, but I think we got to get Kepka in there. We got to get some. Um, Cam Smith, he's been on a tear the last two or three years. I mean, he just won the British Open at a, at a, um, I want to say Augusta. I know that's not it. Oh, it starts with an A, that old British one. Yeah, the British Open. <laughs> oh, dude, really? Okay, I got to find that video. That's hilarious. That is, that would be so funny because the net's lower than a tennis net. So seeing someone who's like, what, what's Dirk, like 6'8"? <laughs> that would be so funny. I've only been playing for like two weeks now, but I'm trying to get out there every day before the sun sets. And like the tour pros, I was looking it up like a tour pro, not not that that's my dream at all, but I was just wondering like how much money is in pickleball because I watched or I saw some clips of a tournament and like their sponsors were like the same sponsors as tennis and golf, so I was like okay, there's got to be some money in this and tour pros make about 
like a hundred k to two hundred k a year, just depending on what what skill level and which tour or which tournaments they attend. And a lot of them are in Arizona and Florida. But yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting because that's only gonna grow if they can get a TV deal or like YouTube Live. Those guys will be making millions, just like tennis. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. I used to love badminton. That was my favorite sport or favorite game in PE. So I guess it's like a hybrid of all three. What sport do you guys think needs cards that like along those lines of if tops will make a tennis one? What sport do you guys think? I think it'd be cool if we could get cricket. Cause there are some cricket legends. Cricket or rugby? All right, box number four, y'all. Best of luck. Big Vin. On what? Totes. On what? Totes. Totes? Ba uh, Totes. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant a product. It's like, I hope it's on Series 1. Or we're trading in the right direction on that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Chipper Jones patch. Number to 199. That's so cool. I know Chipper is all over the hobby, but he's one of my favorites ever. Very cool. And once again, Henry, this has been your break, my man. That will be top loaded before, before uh, shipment. <laughs> Congrats, buddy. Hor oh, horse racing. That's a good one. Oh, they do? Do you know if Panini makes horse racing cards? That would be interesting if they did. Maybe it's something they're in the works on. That would be like something that I would expect Leaf to do. <laughs> Leaf? <laughs> well, someone's going to make it. I'm really confident there will be pickleball cards in the future. Like, that sport is getting so popular. And so much money. Gabriel Moreno, rookie. I know. Let's get you a Peraza with a nice number on it. Gotta keep this Yank stream alive. And then coming up in 15 minutes, we have Topps Chrome Sonic. And then, yes sir, we'll be back up tomorrow morning with another S1 break. Saturday morning on the main channel. Get more air time on the main. <laughs> that was so funny when you guys said that to me the other day. Tim Anderson, foil for the White Sox. Ooh, boxing. That would be good. Oh, what's up, Tyler? Didn't see you hop in. Hopefully your day's going well, my man. Happy Fantastic Friday. Hopefully you're ready for the weekend. Yeah, the Braves are a 10 out of 5 in this break. Heck yeah. Boxing. That would... So what names would you guys like to see? And like, Because how does the rookie situation work with boxing? That's one thing I don't know. I've only ever watched like the marquee fights and stuff. And Tyler and Henry, did you guys watch the Fury and Paul fight? I just saw the clips after it happened. But it was it was actually pretty impressive. I was in, I was really impressed with Mr. Jake Paul. He's definitely coming to his threshold though. Cleveland Guardians, Gold Border, number 2023. Because I guess actually before I didn't know that there were boxing cards. Michael Harris, um, I was trying to find Ryan Garcia. I think that would be cool. Or Javante. There's R Riley Green. Well, the highlights are all you need to watch, my man, if you ever care to revisit that fight. 
I think the highlights do it well. Because Paul, Paul did get a knockdown on Fury at the end of it in the eighth round. He definitely has a, a haymaker. Yeah, I wish that that's a great point, Henry. I wish that they narrowed it down in pop culture. I wish there was like a movie stars and then an actors and then um uh, or that is actors and a singers one, movie stars and then musicians. And also, if they could do like movie actors and TV actors, I think that would do it. I do really well. Super Morel. All right, where's this SSP? Oh, there's Brett Beatty. Okay. Is that not Brett Beatty? That was not Brett Beatty. What musicians would you chase? That chat, or that question's open to everyone in the chat, as always. Marcus Wilson. I would love to see, actually there is one in Alan Ginter Post Malone card, but it's the only auto card he has and it's really, really expensive. So it'd be cool if they could add more. I'd, I'd take one out of Leaf. Or Green Day. I would love something signed by Mr. Billy Joel. Or old school, uh, uh, Buddy Holly. That would be sick. I bet you there's some cut autos of Buddy Holly out there. Oh, Wu Tang Clan. That would be, dude, that would be like the Holy Grail booklet if they had that. That would be sick. Could not agree more, Tyler. Mike Trout. Wu Tang. That would be sick. And ASAP. If they could do Wu Tang and ASAP, that would that'd be the coolest booklet. Either of those two groups. But Wu Tang is locked in as the GOATs. There's Adley. Correct. Also could not agree more, Henry. <laughs> totally agree. I think Pop Century's what, seven or eight cards? All autoed. But big variety. Wow, is that a Cal Ripken black border? That is for the Orioles. Number to 299. Mr. Iron Man. I only have like three or four portrait autographs of players, and Cal Ripken is one of them. Him, Buster Posey, Mickey Mantle, and if you're familiar with the shot heard around the world, that was, I think it was like 19, 19, like 54, 1950 something. Bobby Thompson hit it off Ralph Bronca. I have a picture of Robbie Tom Bobby Thompson celebrating at home plate, and Ralph Bronca just looking at him. That was a nice foil. Danny Jimenez with A's, signed by both of them. And it's cool because Jackie's also in the photo, but he didn't sign it. Interesting twist with Ralph Bronco. I so, believe, yep. I believe his daughter either was or is married to uh, Bobby Valentin. Really? I believe. That's funny. He's married to a, uh, a gunna gunna. That's cool. Yeah, it was really hard for me to find that photo, but once I found it. Bought on pristine auctions. There's JJ Blade. Yep, Bobby Valentine. That's sick. Yeah, I like that weird stuff. Who's also the Bronco 
1991 rock boxes. How much do they go for on eBay? I imagine those are a penny penny. What you saying, my man? Last uh, living, or he's the last living member of the 47 Dodgers. Jeez. The one with Jackie. Yeah, they did music, and then they broke it up into like kind of how like the 1991 rock cards. They did rock. I don't know how well country would do, but pop would do great, and rap would do amazing. I think we have a gold in here. We got Gabe Moreno, rookie. Blue Jays, Ezekiel Duran, gold for the Dodgers. We literally just said his name. Good job, Shane. You pulled this card, Jackie Robinson. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> Number to 50. Or actually, I wonder if we have Tevin. Ooh, a Brett Michaels card. Brett Michaels was, he was fun. Ethan Small. Josh Smith for the Rangers. Miguel Vargas for the Dodgers. I like these silver packs a lot, actually. Oscar Gonzalez, Vonda Franco. Bobby Witt, Anthony Rizzo, Will Clark, and Robin Yount. Sweet. Well, that was a lot of fun. What do you guys rate that break? Let me know, let me know. You won't hurt my feelings, be honest with me now. And for our, uh, all our hits in our break. Our three uh, or our two autographs are for the Marlins, Max Meyer, rookie pitcher, and the Marlins are going. Why am I having a hard time finding Miami? Da 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 da. -da, -da. I want to shout you out. There we go, Tyler Wynn. Welcome in, Tyler. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Congrats on your auto and Mr. Henry. With your home field advantage, Acuna and Freddie Tarnuk, rookie auto. Congrats. Absolutely, Henry. I appreciate you as always, my man. And the, all those cards will be top-loaded and shipped.